Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use DeepSeek AI API in your Java code. Let's get started. The first thing you guys want to do is open your browser and go to aulama.com slash download and you want to pick Mac OS, Linux or Windows based off your operating system and download and run it. Once you guys have got Olama running, go to this URL, localhost, call in 11434 and check if it says Olama is running. If it doesn't say that, that means you've probably done something wrong when trying to install and run Olama. But if it does say this, Olama is running that means it is working correctly now the next thing you guys want to do is actually download DeepSeek. so we're going to be using the 1.5 billion parameter model which is only 1.1 gigabytes but if you can handle it you can go for a bigger model we're going to copy this command right here press windows r to open cmd by writing cmd right here and pressing ok now we're going to paste it in and press enter now you may have to wait a while as it downloads your ai model now that the ai model has successfully been downloaded now we can send it messages in the console to see see if it's going to respond with anything. So I'm going to say hello and see what it says. So as you guys can see, there's a think thing here, which is probably because it's doing some reasoning and it gives me a response. Now we're going to write slash exit or just press the X button right here. We've got it working and now let's start off with our Java code. I'm going to create a new Java project and call it DeepSeek API with Maven on as your build system and we're going to press create. The first thing I want to do in this project is go to our palm.xml and go right here in between the properties and the project and paste in a dependency for org.json which is what we're going to be using in our code then we're going to press this button up here to load the maven changes so it's going to actually download it and get it ready for us to use in our code the next step guys is to write our imports so i'm going to paste these in and you guys can copy those and this will be in the description by the way now we're going to replace this system.out.println with our parameters which is our model deepseek r1 1.5 billion parameter model if you guys picked a higher parameter model like the the 400 billion parameter model for example then you guys can put that instead now this prompt is obviously your prompt you can replace this with whatever you want i'm going to keep it as this and this is where your full response is going to be when we start printing them out at the end the next step is to create a try and catch block where we're going to be actually doing a request first we're going to set up a post request so we're going to use a url object and put this url and make sure it's the exact same and then we're going to create an http url connection object which is what we're going to be using to send the post request to the url after that we're going to be creating a json object for our request so we're going to call it request json and we're going to put in our model prompt and we're going to say stream faults if you don't know what this means it basically just means that it's going to give us a response once it's finally done getting all of its ideas together and a response for us if this was true then it'll actually be giving us a stream of words as it generates them one by one the next step is to actually send the request so we're going to use this line of code where we use an output stream to write this to the url finally we're going to get an actual response now so we're going to be using a response line right here and we're going to be getting it as a new json object because there are many things it's going to respond with that's not the response and we want to clean up that output so it's not very messy now let's just print out our full response and let's try out our code as you guys can see we actually got our response here we have a think up here with like before because it's supposed to be a reasoning model but you can guys can get rid of that if you guys really need to but the main part is down here we actually got a response now which means you guys can start using your api for other projects yay all right guys i think that was enough adios